Hallett, was this vote an endorsement of the city's fiscal management or was it a good political campaign? Both. I think the uh, voters were convinced of the need. Uh, the city it does not come to them often for more money. And uh, they saw what the consequences were in terms of layoff and layoffs and reduced services, and they said, we'll pay more money. I, it was also a very good campaign. It was uh, orchestrated or, or led behind the scenes by Greg Haas and a, a new wonder kid in campaign circles around here named Lee Roberts. He's only 23 years old. They very effectively targeted the message uh, to vote. Another point I want to make about this. Uh, in my humble opinion, I think Coleman acted very courageously in doing this. He put his own political capital on the line. Uh, he showed that even in the worst of times, that voters will raise their taxes if they are convinced of the need. Paling by comparison is Governor Strickland. I think the other part of this, too, is, you know, now that they have approved it, I do think they ran a good campaign. And we were saying that voter turnout is higher than it usually is in special elections. But when you have 500,000 Columbus voters and only 89,000 of them vote, I mean, you have a lot of people out there that did not get engaged. And I think the challenge now is to prove to people that they will spend this money wisely and to engage the community in how that is spent. You look at a place like Southwestern City Schools, that community is completely divided. Here's and the, they need the to number. engage people. 7.6 of Columbus registered voters said yes to this tax. 7.6% said yes to $100 million in new revenue. I don't what does that say? An, I don't think it's an overwhelming endorsement of what the mayor plans and to do with this money.